Hey Aries, this is going to be your love reading for the next two weeks, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new to my channel, please smash that like button and subscribe. Welcome back to all of my returning subscribers. So let's get into this and see what the messages are here playing out for you. So you're starting with mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflecting wounds, introspection. So really do it being more self-aware. I feel like there's someone here who's being very self-aware, taking a look at themselves, introspection, looking to see some truth. Okay, past position. You do have the page of swords here so it looks like someone was very curious about you spying on you in the past let's see okay um feels like maybe the other woman or another female spying on you in the past a mother figure or someone could be like um someone that you're dealing with who had some kind of an ex or baby mama kind of drama that kind of thing going on here in the past right um let's take a look hmm something to do here with a new car or a new vehicle in the past someone like wondering if someone that you've been connecting with bought you a new vehicle that's crazy i'm seeing like the, the in, intuitive message I pick up is that there is another person that's connected to a romantic partner that you have who has been doing a lot of spying and gossiping, going places, telling people, not sure what's going on. So that kind of makes me feel like someone that you were dealing with or that you're involved with has like an ex that has a lot of drama. Okay, Aries has an ex, has a lot of drama. All right, present energy. I feel like this this person, this this uh, this ex of your person, is going to be reaching out to you in the present within the next two weeks, seeking some kind of clarity and truth about a situation here. Now, I'm not saying that your person's cheating. I, I'm not saying that, but I am feeling like they do have somebody from their past who is pretty jealous spying that kind of energy envious and i feel like they're going to be reaching out to you trying to find out like either what's going on or to tell you about that you should leave the person you're with it's a lot of drama okay saying that they're like super sleuthy like like that they're per that the person you're with is they're tricky they, they, they pull a lot of tricks yeah what the hell a lot of drama in this aries a lot of drama let me take another look here okay they're going to tell you that they left them because they were very tricky like they were manipulative i feel they were just playing like doing a lot of magic or playing a lot of magical games being deceptive, being manipulative, being tricky, that kind of thing. They're going to tell you that it's a real struggle. It feels more like they're going to give you a warning. But, you know, I don't know if <laughs> what that has to do with you, Aries. You know what I mean? Like, if, you're, if you've been with somebody and you know that, that your person's ex is just like this, I feel like the biggest message is to tell you that either they reached out to you before, they're going to reach out to you again in the next couple of weeks. All right, and definitely in the present, there's going to be some conversation, maybe in the next like five days, five or six days, some kind of conversation. Yeah, this person is like high anxiety. They're really stressing over something that the, the person that you both have in common did to them. Okay, something about them walking away abandoning, leaving, starting their life over with you. I don't know if she's reaching out to you because she just needs to talk or she's trying to tell you like or warn you or uh, you know something along those lines or if she's just trying to have like that 
connection with you where you guys can bond okay future hmm she's coming to see you so at first i thought we were talking about your person but i don't feel like we are i feel like we're talking about your person's ex who's trying to reach out to tell you that what's going on here so she's going to be taking a trip to you or coming to your work or coming towards you before this the next two weeks are up okay you might invite her to come visit or sit down with her and have coffee or talk about things okay yeah talk about the marriage you might not even know some of this stuff maybe you're curious to find out or you just might want to listen hear what she has to say i mean aries you're a good person <clears throat> you're you don't have like you're you're a loyal person aries you you f you have a big heart and you, you know even though that this is someone that you might be dealing with and their ex you have a soft heart for people that suffer you know you, you always want to bring the good to people i think you might actually listen to her because look she's sitting here with the nine of swords um wow okay that mirroring each other kind of thing i feel like she's going to say that he the guy you're dealing with um there's a similarity between you and her there's some kind of similarity I don't know if you're younger, if you're older, or what the situation is. I feel like you're going to be in a position to give her the courage and strength to talk and maybe to leave the situation uh, or, or get to seek some help for whatever she's dealing with. I don't know. I, I get a sense like you, you two are going to form some kind of a bond in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, very positive bond. Let me take a look at your person here and see what the issue is. What is the deal with your person? Okay. The marriage card. The Ace of Swords. Another marriage card. The Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the Knight of Cups. I mean, you're. it looks like whoever you're dealing with here, Aries, is 100% like all about you. They're 100% all about you. And I feel like they're going to stand up for this relationship with you. Okay. First court card. So you could be dealing with an air sign. A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They just have that energy. But I feel like they're coming in with the truth. I feel like your the person, your, your, your romantic partner, this King of Swords here, I feel like their ex has just not gotten over them. And they're having a really hard time. And I feel like <laughs> you're really going to rise above. And... Um, take on like a more humanitarian kind of role in their life i don't feel like they're coming in to like hurt you or say bad things or hurt you or anything i feel like they're coming to you as like i don't know why you i'm not sure why they're gonna reach out maybe you knew them before uh, maybe you were friends with them before and then your romantic partner left her and came to you i, I don't know exactly what the situation is but I feel like you're going to be very positive with her and try to give her some consolation um, in in some way. It, this is the oddest reading, I swear, you guys. I, if you have been with me for as long as I have been doing this on my channel here on YouTube, I've never done a reading like this. Never. Um, <laughs> ever. So, I, I mean, th these messages are so pinpoint that that are coming directly to me and i i just feel like you're not being a hater and your person is totally all about you and really loves you and is kind of in that energy of like look that was a long time ago and it makes me sad that she can't seem to get over it or she's having such a hard time you know she may not be gossiping but she may be talking to other people like she's really busted up about the one you're with leaving her she's really really so i feel like you're gonna do this like girl code thing or just try to be very supportive yeah you're it for your person you're whoever your person is whether they're an air sign or whatever sign they are i mean their intentions with you are good i don't feel like i don't feel like the person that you're with is gonna do the same thing to you that they did to their ex 
right? And this is what they did do to their ex. They cut them off. They ended something here. You know, and it was abrupt and it was harsh. And I feel like that's why she's suffering. I don't know why. She, like I said, I'm not exactly. You, maybe you know why she's going to come to you or why she's going to reach out to you. You might just be like, listen, you got to move on. You got to move on or try. You know, I, it's a tough call, but I feel like because you have a good heart, you, you're not a hater. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not a hater. You, you do have a soft heart for people that are suffering even at the hands of someone you love you know but yeah i just kind of feel like that's the energy playing out here in the next couple weeks so let's get a couple of other messages to see so i feel like your part your partner is very true to you and loves you and is going to keep maintaining that if you're not engaged or married that's definitely on its way I mean, this is the energy I'm picking up now. Don't ask me what it's going to be like in five or ten years because I'm not doing that reading now. But I, I do feel like right now they are, um, yeah, twin flame for you. This, you've connected. Uh, you know, sometimes the past, it doesn't work out. Years go by. We connect with someone new and that turns out to be our twin flame. And the other person maybe our karmic. You and your person are a twin flame. Yep, this is a destined partnership. You were meant to be together. It was fated for you both to be together. Let's say anything else. Yep, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Wow, this is a very interesting message. I really need to say. I'm just going to... Let's see. We have a Scorpio. We have Leo showing up here. Someone's 51. Someone's 60, someone, uh, all right, 1983, the initial A, 1979, 1971, the initial I, could be Ian, the initial T, okay, somebody's birthday is the 29th, okay, we have 1966, or someone is 66, so I'm hearing Adam, Ariel, Angela, I'm picking up um, Timothy, Patrick, or Patricia, Pat. Anything else? Okay, we have Taurus showing up here. So you could be on the cusp of Aries and Taurus. Okay, we have the letter E. Another A. Aaron. All right, your birthday might be on the 4th could be on the 16th all right let me get a couple of charms here all right get some glasses so somebody might wear glasses you might wear glasses or you maybe you need a new pair of glasses because your glasses lost their lenses or maybe you just got a new pair you also have an axe here so you're cutting something off. You're shutting something down. I mean, you could be out axing some wood, but, you know, depending on where you are in the world. You also have a bat. Okay. Somebody might be doing something with a baseball bat. I'm picking up. You also have a brontosaurus. So dinosaur. It's a connection to dinosaurs. There's also a, a half a moon. Or somebody's eating a cookie. I'm also picking up like banana, maybe a banana moon pie. Or somebody's eating bananas at night, has like a nice banana dessert at night. Or eating bananas or somewhere where from a place where there's bananas are grown. You could just be picking up bananas at the grocery store right now. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave your message there. I hope you enjoyed that. Come back in a couple weeks. We'll see how else the drama plays out for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic summer and I'll see you back here very soon. No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with